Hi. We are again in Brazil. This is an image where not much is telling us here. If we increase the area where the forest loss is reported, we can see there's some forest loss reported where we can see nothing here. If we switch between the main imagery, for example, Bing or S3, well, maybe within Bing and S3, we see a border here, but nothing compared to this amount of uh, area loss. If we look in Google Earth, um, this is where we get the latest images from 2010. There's a little trick in Google Earth you can do. If you zoom out just enough, you will trigger the Landsat imagery service. You can see it here. And you can switch until 2016 in a yearly basis, 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Something starts to happen again in 16, but you can see the changes happening here, but nothing in the, in the amount that is shown on the other, um, on the other image on here. So what can we do? Well, there's one more sort of one more source of imagery that we have available is the Sentinel imagery. Sentinel here will show you the latest possible available imagery that there is that might be a 2020 image. Here is what you get. You have this cut in the forest. If you take out the, the, the overlay, you can clearly see this is happening here. And if, in fact, if you click here on the time series, you can click and you will see what is happening over time. So it was here in 2017, 18, 19, and here it happens. Eh? So um, one way to look at this is to this imagery, but we still don't, we're not exactly sure what happened here. So I would switch back to Google and I would look for details close by to understand what is happening. And this is what I can see close by, especially this. these are pens, animal pens. So what is happening here is clear, is clearing for pasture. So likely driver is pasture. Um, if I switch to Sentinel, um, I will see potentially something that looks like a house here. So I will mark it as a building and then submit.